Little call out to my mates outside. Hello everyone, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. And today I'm going to tell you how I review music. Now, ever since I started this channel, one of the most common questions I've got from all of you has been, how do you go, Connor, about reviewing music? You know, where do you start? Uh, how long does a review take you to make? Uh, how do you know what to say even? And uh, so much else beyond that and so very happy finally to be making this video. It's a video for all of you, I think, as a way of uh, showing you or giving you an idea of just how much goes into writing my reviews and hopefully as a result you'll be able to uh, appreciate them more as entities, if you will, and even more so, I think, for those who appreciate the review side of music a lot more than most, uh, finding the finer details and articulating how you feel about them and whatnot, and I suppose even more than that, for those who want to get into reviewing music and want a bit of guidance or advice on the steps they can take going forward to be better at it. Gonna go through it step by step here, starting, of course, with the listening, and then how I shape my thoughts into something coherent and refined and cohesive, if you will. Aware here that I am giving away my biggest secrets, but I mean, I think everyone has a different way of reviewing anyway, you know, a different way and method of writing and formulating what they think. And if it helps people and enlightens them and encourages them to, you know, talk about bass music, not even reviewing properly, you know, just talking about uh, music, bass music in particular, which is what this channel is about in more depth, then I'm the happiest person alive. I'm Connor Whitmore and ladies and gentlemen, this is my masterclass. Here we go. And the first thing I do, whether it be an album, EP, compilation, whatever, is that given project or collection, I listen to it the whole way through, beginning to end, start to finish, no skipping at all. Don't write anything down, um, just try to experience the project or collection in as present a way as I can. Don't write anything down, just experience the project or collection for what it is and let the emotions and feelings, if you will, run free. Nothing affecting that initial experience, yeah, no kind of outside influence dictating or changing how I feel about it in that first moment. If I think of something and I feel like I can't forget it or that I have to remember it in some way, then I will write it down. But apart from that, not writing anything down, again, just trying to live in that present moment with the music. Then with a general idea of the project in mind, I'll listen through it again and make main points. These are themes or patterns or motifs, you know, things that recur, basically. A general way of looking at the collection, I think, uh, yeah, kind of like an overview or like a bird's eye view of the collection as a whole, in a way. And at this point, I'll divide up those main points and make them into those that I want to mention in the bulk of the review and ones that I want to make or want to cover in the conclusion of the review. And this is to have main points to look back on and reference when uh, listening again and filling them in with more detail later on, providing the uh, skeleton of the review in a way. At this point, with a stronger understanding of the project I'm talking about, I will write the introduction to the review. And this will usually include a bit of background uh, of the musician or act in question, uh, what they've put out recently, my opinion on that material, their recent stuff, and it will be framed the introduction with a kind of segue into my main points or thoughts on the project I'm about to review from them, that which has just come out. Before launching into the meat of the review, and this is something you may have noticed in the past, you may have not. I'll give a one or two line summary just to let people know of the general tone of the review and how I feel about it in a kind of short and concise way. With that done, I will listen again and note down absolutely everything of note about that project or collection. And this part does take quite a while, you know, pausing again and again to note down not only what happens, but also how I feel about it. With a four-track EP, for example, uh, which would be 
I suppose, between uh, 12 and 15 minutes on average or so. That'll take, well, this stage of the process will take somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour. Yeah, noting everything down from the production quality to the invention of the idea, what's actually happening, any images it may conjure up in my head to give the review a bit of life, if you will. If it's unique or sounds like other stuff, you know, uh, drawing comparisons and whatnot, it's a proper deep dive into uh, the collection and the impact that it's having on me. Being honest with my thoughts, yeah, being as honest as I can with my interpretation of it, and yeah, trying to convey what I think in an effective way through words and imagery and comparisons, etc. And I'll use quite basic language at this point with my notes, and then as it goes on, as the review process goes on, I will flesh those thoughts out with more fitting words, you know, when I write it in full. After that, I'll begin to give the review a bit of shape by ordering the main points I'd made or written earlier. Also deciding for good at this point which main points are going to be in the bulk of the review and which ones are going to be in the conclusion of the review. And because I review bass music, uh, I usually start in the bulk of the review with the heavy or dark stuff because that is almost always the central part of the music, the drops. Although if other things are more important with a given project or collection, then I will talk about that first, of course. Always making sure as well there's a good flow and direction to what I'm saying, that each main point kind of flows from one into the next one, making it a very uh, seamless kind of journey. For example, if I am making a point about introductions and one of the introductions includes a vocal, and then my next main point is about vocals, then I will talk about the introduction that has a vocal in it last so that I can use that as a segue or kind of uh, transition into talking about the vocals directly after that. That leading in kind of thing. And then with the main points ordered, I will fill them in with all of the extensive notes I made earlier on each individual tune. So say for example, it's an album with a load of really creative dubstep drops. The main point will be, wow, this album is chock full of really creative dubstep. And then I'll just go through all of the examples, often ending with the most interesting or impactful one, the best one till last kind of thing. And this is the main part of the reviewing process for sure, and undeniably the part that takes the longest. It will take a few hours to give it proper shape and fill every main point with those details. It's all about grouping stuff together and establishing patterns, uh, similarities, motifs, all of that. And uh, yeah, just give it a load of body. In the process of that, I will write the conclusion but I hasten to add that is significantly different from writing the bulk of the review. So at this point, I won't be discussing details, but more general points and being very confident in my uh, delivery of them. You know, giving very definite and clear opinions to uh, sum the project up in as um, concise and neat a way as I can. Just trying to round up on the project whilst also uh, simultaneously looking forward with what that musician, producer, artist, whatever, will or may deliver going forward. Also trying to weigh up everything that I've thought of in the review that I've just given, giving both positive and negative, and just giving a very uh, kind of balanced overview of the project or collection in question. Unless, of course, it is either absolutely incredible or absolutely awful which does happen. Then, and I think particular to my reviews, I will give my favourite from the project or collection in question at the end, saying why in the process. And this is something that I think a lot of you guys want to know most in terms of my thoughts on a given project or collection. So a good way, I think, of kind of 
uh, signaling that at the very end and giving it its own space, if you will. And then after that, I give recommendations for anyone who enjoyed the project or collection and would like to hear more stuff like it. And when I started Naughty Step, I thought that was what I wanted to see. You know, if I was watching the reviews myself, I would want to know of other stuff that could, you know, get me into that genre or style of music more. And so I thought, again, a good way of including that in a review and signaling it at the very end, having its own space, making it its own thing. After all of that, I will listen to the project or collection again one more time, just in case there was anything I missed out. This time, I will definitely be skipping, though, you know, the moments I really can't bear that I don't get on with. Uh, that just takes up unnecessary time, have to be honest. Then I'll read through my review a couple of times, checking for uh, spelling errors or words that don't quite feel right and need changing in terms of my description of what's going on and changing words that I might have used too often and also checking again that it flows well, that there's a, a sensible direction to it, and also adding in at that point any clips of music that I want to put in for a bit of reference uh, for what I'm talking about. By that point, uh, doing that review, writing it, putting it together, has taken about four or five hours, maybe more if there's more going on, uh, like for example, in particular, uh, someone like Virtual Riot, for example, his projects always have loads of uh, second drop changes and amazing structures on show and for another example the uh, Joyride album where a lot is going on 18 tunes and yeah just a lot to note down and then I present it on camera making sure I catch all of those peaks and troughs with my tone and yeah there you have it. I hope this video was intriguing and interesting as an insight into how I review music in particular bass music of course, but really I think this could apply to any kind of music uh, for those who are watching and aren't into electronic music or bass music. Again, bottom line I think is establishing main points and delivering them with a good flow and direction and then filling in those main points with the details you have. You don't have to be as fine with the details as I like to be. I know for a fact many reviewers aren't like that and just keep it quite basic and stick mainly to main points with a couple of details here and there. I like to go all in myself and respect the craft and ambition of the musician or artist in question, but sometimes I do like being a bit more general and sweeping when it's right, you know, when it feels good, when I'm covering a particular project. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, got something out of it especially for those who want to review and uh, start writing about music in the future and appreciate the finer details of music and the analysis side of it. Uh, subscribe if you're yet to, if you haven't checked out the channel before and like what you hear, what you see. Hit the notification bell along the way and I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>